today we're going to be talking about uh, Disney's, one of Disney's newest movies. We're going to be talking about Onward. Um, so as you know, how we do things around here, we're very blunt and upfront uh, with stuff. So right off the bat, I have no idea how this movie failed at the box office. I have no idea what happened. This movie was great. I, I loved it. I thought everything about it was good. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I really don't. Um, based on everything I've seen, at least, um, it was like a bomb at the box office. It didn't do well. It didn't make money or anything like that. And that's part of the reason why it's now available for streaming on, on uh, Disney+. Plus. Uh, the movie just released in theaters last month, uh, March. Or, yeah, I believe it's March. And it's already on streaming services. It's already been uh, available for purchase on digital release. Like, I, I have no idea what happened. Uh, I thought this movie was great. Uh, there wasn't really... There was really nothing about it I didn't like. Um, I thought it was just really good. I really, really did. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into the review. Yeah, so this movie, uh, as of April 3rd, is available on Disney+. Plus. So if you have it or you were thinking about getting it, it's another plus, <laughs> plus uh, to using the service or purchasing the service. Um, and maybe I'll do a review on Disney Plus as a service. Um, that might come a little bit later though. Um, but yeah, so it's available now for streaming on Disney Plus if you don't or if you didn't already go out and digitally rent or purchase it. Um, so yeah, uh, like I said, I thought it was fantastic. I thought it was great. Um, it's very kid friendly. Uh, the movie is incredibly enjoyable, incredibly enjoyable. If you uh, know anything about D&D, because that's kind of like a premise of the movie, right? So it follows two elves whose uh, dad left them a staff a phoenix gem and a spell to bring their dad back to life for a, a single day and that's pretty much the premise of the movie is uh they try to use the spell and the the phoenix gem explodes so they have to go on a quest to find another one but at this point in the enchanted realm or whatever um magic really isn't a thing they've modernized they have technology they have cars they have like phones and it's just like Basically, if you had took magical creatures and put them in today's world, that's what it was like. So nobody knew anything about all this stuff. Nobody knew where the enchanted artifacts were. Nobody know. Nobody knows anything. So they have to go on this quest to go and find it. Um, so that's that's the premise of the movie. We're not getting to get into spoilers here, but um, I thought the conclusion of the movie was really, really good. There's a nice little like twist at the end. It's like, oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, I think that's all I wanted to talk about as far as like the story is concerned and everything like that because I believe you shouldn't you should see it to enjoy it. Um, I really do. Uh, everything about it, like the people, the characters they interact with and things like that. Uh, I thought the voice actors did a fantastic job. Uh, if you didn't know, Tom Holland voices who plays uh, the newest Spider-Man. He voices uh, Ian, which is the main one or the main kid, the skinny one, and then Chris Pratt is the voice of the brother, which is Burley, I believe. Um, Bur yeah, Burley or Barley, he, his character was great. So fantastic. Uh, really, really on point with Chris's personality, I feel like, or at least the characters he's done in the past. So I would imagine this is probably like a super easy project for him. Uh, I really like him as an actor and I think he did a fantastic job here. Uh, Tom Holland was pretty good. Um, uh, you could like hear the emotion in their voices and all that kind of stuff that you want to hear. Uh, Octavia Spencer, she's been doing a lot, uh, lately, I feel like. Um, the thing I recognize her from most is I believe she was the mom that guilt tripped Robert Downey Jr. at the beginning of Civil War with the whole my son died while you were saving the world kind of speech. Um, so she's in this movie. Uh, she voices one of the characters that they interact with later on who kind of takes on a more prominent role as the story develops. Uh, she's pretty good. Uh, I don't know who voices the mom or the mother figure. Um, but I thought she did a very good job as well. And the animation I thought was on point. Uh, the movie looks pretty good, pretty crisp and pretty clean. Um, now on that note, I do have like a 4K TV and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't think it'll look any, like it won't look bad on the lower definition. I really don't think it will. Um, but yeah, everything about it was great. I loved it. Um, I'm not huge on like music and soundtracks in movies, but what was played I thought fit and was pretty good. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Uh, oh yeah, so the, obviously this is about them trying to get a day with their dad. Um, so it's a really nice spin on uh, why the dad isn't there. He died of a disease. He didn't like walk out or leave them or anything like that. Uh, I think they, that's kind of like a big thing or 
Um, typically, they don't tell you why one of the parents is gone. They're just not there. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, I really enjoyed that. Um, that might not be as different as I think it is, but it felt like it. Um, I could be totally off base. I really don't know. Um, now, I can't remember, but so this movie wasn't allowed to be aired in certain countries because of things in the movie, but I really, I didn't understand it. Like the only, like if you wanted to talk about, um, characters of a different sexuality, like there's at most two mentions of like a gay or lesbian couple. And one of them is one of the cops who interacts with the main characters. She mentions that she has a girlfriend, like it's not explicit or put on like a pedestal in the movie or anything like that and then at the very end of the movie at a birthday party i think i could be wrong because the, the scene was kind of fast but like it is like implied that it was like a lesbian couple at the end which is fine but like i don't know why those two instances unless it had something to do with the magic and i'm totally just wrong like i don't understand why it wouldn't be shown in those current other countries i think that's pretty weird and i I saw some stuff, some articles and stuff. I never read any of them about just like SJWs or like whatever going nuts about the movie, but I don't get it. Like there was nothing in the movie. There wasn't like, nothing was put on a pedestal. Like it was just, it was in the movie, but it wasn't like, you know, it wasn't like featured or it wasn't like, hey, look at this. Um, so that being said, I do think that it was still inserted just to like check off a box. Like, hey, we included them. I, if I was like that, I would be, I, would, I wouldn't be happy about it. Cause like, I want to, you don't personally, right? So I don't want to be treated like a check mark. I don't want you to include me just so you can check me off a list. So if anything, I would be upset about that. Um, but then again, it's not me. I can't speak to that. Um, so yeah, main point of the video, the movie was great. I thought it was fantastic. If you have Disney plus, or you were thinking about getting it, this movie is very enjoyable. Uh, Disney Plus has other original content that you may or may not enjoy, such as The Mandalorian, uh, Star Wars Season 7, or The Clone Wars Season 7, excuse me, uh, is starting. They're doing weekly episodes, just like television release, um, every ep every week at Friday. Um, it's going to be a short season compared to the other ones. Uh, I think once that wraps up and they're, they're finished with it, I'll do a review on the season. Um, as it sits right now, I'm kind of wishy-washy on it. I think it's okay. I think they started off pretty strong and then just kind of dropped off a little bit. Um, I think that's going to wrap it up though. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I, if I influenced your decision to watch or pick up the streaming service to watch this movie, uh, please let me know and, uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Thank you.